Hey friends, so today we're gonna create this scrolling animated prototype in Figma based on a design that I generated using Midjourney. So here's the design that was created with Midjourney and the prompt that was used to make it. Standard stuff here describing the type of website we want. I did use quality set to two, stylized 1000 and version four of the model. We also set the aspect ratio to 916, so we got our vertical layout. So there's a lot going on in this design. And in order to animate it, we actually need to break out each one of these individual assets so that we can move them separately. So we're gonna open it up in Photoshop and use the marquee tool shortcut M to select a box around one of these objects. Then we hit command J to copy it to a new layer. We're gonna go through and do this for all the objects within this document and copy them all to their own layer. This will allow us to automate the process of saving them out to images. Now that that's done, we're going to go to the file menu, choose export and select layers to files. Then we're just gonna export them all as PNGs in a specific directory and click run to let it go. Now that we have them as images, we can do other batch operations on them. So we're gonna create an action to perform on all these images, but first we need to record the action. So open the actions panel, which you can find under window menu item and actions, and hit the record button. We're gonna name it shadow. So now it's recording every action we take. So hit command J to duplicate the layer. Click select subject. Hit command J again to copy the subject to a new layer then select the original layer. Next, we're gonna go up to the select menu and choose color range. And we're gonna play around with it so that we can make a selection of the shadow. Then we hit command I to invert the selection. Then we create a new layer and hit option backspace to fill it with black. Then we delete the extra layers and save it out as a PNG. And hit the stop button in the actions panel to stop recording. So now we can go up to the file menu and choose automate and select batch. Then we make sure that our action is selected and we choose the source directory with all our files and an output directory that we want them all to go into. Then click OK and it'll run on all those files. You can see the results are all in the folder that you specified. You may need to go in and touch up a few of them, but it will certainly save you a lot of time in the process. So for this second section, what we want to do is expand this side image so that we can have a fixed scrolling effect. So we're going to select the image and copy it into its own document. Then we're going to use the magic wand tool to select the outer area and delete it just so we can have a transparent edge to it. Then we're going to select the crop tool and expand the size of the document vertically. Next I'm going to use generative fill which is a feature just released in the new beta version of Photoshop. Then we're going to make a marquee selection that slightly overlaps the content beneath. Click the generative fill button in the context bar and then click generate. By default, it'll give you three options to choose from, just pick the best one. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the bottom of the image. Then we're gonna select one of our layers, choose the pen tool and draw a path around where we want the alpha channel to be. Then we just right click and choose create vector mask. Then we just go through the other sections of the site, breaking out all the assets with the same approach as we did with our batch commands. So now we're gonna hop into Figma, create a desktop frame. I'll just use one of the MacBook Pros, and then we just drag in our image from Mid Journey and resize it to fill the frame. So I'm just gonna duplicate this and drag in all of our assets that we generated. And we'll, we're just gonna align them with the assets underneath. It helps if you reduce the opacity of the background image, just so you can see them easier but you're really just lining everything up. So now we can just draw a rect for our background of the header, and we're just gonna use the color picker tool to pick the colors for the linear gradient. 
but then we're just going to trace the UI elements of this header area, add drop shadows to match the design, and also match the copy of both font and color as close as possible. So now we're going to move on to the second section. We're going to draw a rect for the background and create a linear gradient and copy the colors using the color picker. So now we're going to bring in that fixed background image and position and resize it to match the design. Next, we're going to right click the background gradient and choose frame selection. Then we're going to place the image inside of that frame. Then with that frame selected, we're going to go in the properties panel and choose clip content. Then we're going to bring in and line up all the items for this section and continue to replicate the text and UI. Then we just do the same thing with the third section, drawing the background gradients, placing all the objects and lining them up and then tracing out all the UI elements and using the color picker to match. So I'm going to place this frame inside of another frame that I'll create that's just the size of the window. And I'm going to make sure that clip content is unchecked so that we can see everything outside the fold. One other thing I want to do is draw a scroll bar at the top of the frame. Then we're going to duplicate this frame, select the inner frame that is all the content and slide it up so that the bottom meets the bottom of the outer frame. Then we're going to move the scroll bar all the way to the bottom of that frame. Then with the scroll bar selected in the first frame, we're going to go into prototype mode at an interaction and say on drag, navigate to the other frame make sure smart animate is selected then we just do the same thing to the scroll bar in the other frame sending it back so now if you preview this you'll be able to drag the scroll bar all the way to the bottom and top of the page so now we go back to design mode and in the second frame we move all of our objects to their end position of the animation so if you preview your prototype, you'll see all the elements animate to their new position as you drag the scroll bar. For that fixed scrolling background effect, we just go in and select that image and then move it down. So then we just go through and reposition the different items in the page. For the items lower in the page, in the lower sections, you'll want to move the items in the first frame just so that they animate into place. If we preview this, you should get something that looks like this, where you can scrub the scroll bar all the way to the bottom and all the elements animate. 